you gotta get the puppy in the video. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Crunchy. Oh my god, obsessed. She's obsessed with food. So I gotta bribe her with treats just to be in my video. Isn't that right? Yep. She is fucking adorable. For everyone asking, she is a long haired miniature dash hound, exactly the same as Winnie. You're not very good at filming or taking photos, are you, honey? Oh, you're so cute. Okay, bye. Time to film. I'm literally the biggest procrastinator you will ever meet. Like, it's like, I make filming such a big deal. It's not a big deal. I don't know why I do that. We're just going to roll with it. Hi, guys. Welcome back. It's Sky Marie Wheatley. Thank you. Thank you. Your girl right here has had the worst hay fever throughout my pregnancy. Something about there being... I don't know. All I know is that if you suffered hay fever before pregnancy, <sighs> shit, you will suffer hay fever even worse in your pregnancy. <sighs> Motherfucker. It's gotta be something about this room because whenever I sit down to film, it's just game on bitch with the hay fever. I did a poll. I did a poll on Instagram asking you guys if I should do a wing or no wing. And the no wing poll was winning. So I put my lashes on and I didn't do a wing. And then I just checked it. And the wing, <laughs> it's in the lead now. So that was a massive fail. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through old wise tales. Now, before I knew the sex of my baby, this was driving me crazy. I was trying to, to pff, trying to determine the sex of my baby, doing all these old wives' tales, reading up on the internet, but to be honest, I really don't think that they're accurate. I think pregnancy is different for everyone, and you will experience different symptoms etc and even your body your body's going to grow differently like when people say you look like you're carrying a boy or you look like you're carrying a girl it's different for everyone like you literally just cannot tell what sex you're having i don't believe in the old wives tales at all so i just thought this video would be really fun just before the news is out for you guys so i'm just going to go through and we'll tally Boy, girl, who's winning via the old wives tales. Old wives tales number one. The Lena Nigra. The Lena Nigra. That dark line that has appeared on your bump is apparently the key to working out whether you're carrying a boy or girl. Rumor has it that if the line continues above your belly button, you're having a boy. If it finishes below your belly button, you, ha you are having a girl. So, I haven't developed a line at all on my stomach, so I wouldn't be able to answer this. And there would be no point for boy or girl because, yeah, like I said, I don't have a line. I've noticed a few stretch marks, like, in my inner thighs. But that's about it, hey. Yeah, I don't have the line. Okay, old wives tale number two. Carrying high or low. This is one old wives tale you won't be able to get through pregnancy without hearing. Literally. So many of you guys have been like, oh my god, you're having a boy. Oh my god, you're having a girl. You look like you're carrying a girl. You look like you're carrying a boy. You're carrying low, you must be carrying a girl. You're carrying low, you must be carrying a boy. And then other people have said to me, I looked like you when I was pregnant and I had a girl and then other people say I looked like you my belly was the same as yours and I had a boy so you seriously just cannot tell but anyway from this old wise tale I am carrying very low majority well all my stomach is low it's like nothing's really up the top yet apart from probably fat so I, that's 1.2 boy 
Three, the feel of your skin. Carrying a boy is said to give you dry skin. So if you're enjoying silky smooth skin, you could be expecting a little girl. That's funny because I thought it was the other way around. Like other forums tell you that if you're breaking out, you're having a girl. And if you don't, if you have a beautiful complexion throughout pregnancy, you're having a boy. But going off this forum, it looks like that is a point to boy because my skin's really dry but my skin was so dry even before i fell pregnant so i don't know no yo i don't know another point to boy team boy number four it's all in the heart according to age old nonsense your baby's heart rate can be used to predict the gender apparently girls have faster heartbeats than boys above 140 ppm means you're having a girl and lower than 140 BPM means it's a boy. So that's 1.2 girl because the other day I went and had a midwife appointment and the baby's heart rate was 140 something. So it was, I was either 140 or above 140. Simply pay attention to your pregnancy weight gain. According to an old wives tale, if you're carrying all of your extra weight up front, it's a boy. If those pregnancy pounds are piling on all over, you might be expecting a daughter. So, I really believe that I put weight on everywhere. I put weight on in my arms. I put weight on in my legs. I'm just bigger all over. Like, even in my face, I've put on weight. So, I would say that is a 1.2 team girl. It's all about the taste. Some people believe your cravings provide clues as to the sex of your unborn child. Thinking of sugar and spice and all things nice, it's common sense that sweet cravings mean you're carrying a girl. Fruit, chocolate, and desserts. Salty or sour foods could be an indication that you're carrying a son. Okay, my cravings have definitely been sweet, but I craved sweet even before I fell pregnant. I've just always been a massive sweet tooth. But going off this old wives tale, that is another point to team girl. The ring. Oh, I can't do the ring test because I don't have a ring yet. <laughs> Lachlan. Better get on that so we can do the ring test with our next baby. Having a bath. Okay, so morning sickness. If you escaped without that daily vom, legend predicts you will have a baby boy. Okay, another point to team boy. I've literally not thrown up once throughout this whole pregnancy. Like I have not been sick at all. I felt totally normal. Maybe I felt like a little bit nauseous at the start, but I've never actually thrown up. So another point to team boy. I'll put all the points of each team down below in the description and on the screen, on the screen for you. No easy feet. If you are suffering from a bad case of the cold feet now that you're pregnant, you might be expecting a boy. Okay, this is a tricky one because obviously the weather's been a bit more cold. So when it was really cold, my feet and my hands were ice cold and Lockie would always complain about me not touching him with my feet because they were so cold. He's like, get your fucking cold feet off me, bitch. But now that it's hotter, I find like my feet and my hands really burn up and I always sleep with my feet outside the doona because they get hot. So, and that hasn't changed throughout pregnancy. So, I don't know. I'm going to say, I'm going to give a point to team boy. Just because I I know that Lockie always complains about my t my feet. My tits. My, t my teeth. My feet. <laughs> Baby brain is so real. My feet being cold. So that's another point to team boy. Ready to glow. If people are queuing up to tell you just how beautiful, glowing, and blooming you are now that you're knocked up, you could be carrying a boy. If people are looking at you with worried eyes and asking if you're feeling okay, <laughs> it's probably because you have a daughter on the way. Okay, well, obviously everyone on Instagram has told me I have a pregnancy glow. I would say it's probably the alcohol detox because I literally haven't had a drop of alcohol in so long. And it can't be my diet either because I haven't been too great with the diet. I feel like my skin is looking really dry and really old, but other people tell me that I'm glowing. 
So that must be another point to Team Boy. Wow, Team Boy is really up there, isn't it? I feel like most people say it's a boy too on my Instagram. So yeah, Team Boy's in the lead, I'm pretty sure. A big boob. Might not often be talked about in polite society, but it's common to have one breast bigger than the other. Take a look in the mirror. If your right breast is bigger, you might be having a son. If your left is larger, it could be a little girl. Okay, so my left boob has always been larger than my right. My right implant makes my boob, my, used to make my right boob larger, but now it's my left boob that's bigger. So that's point to team go spot on according to ancient wisdom acne during pregnancy hints that you're carrying a girl a perfect complexion a perfect complexion could be a sign that you're expecting a boy okay my skin has been really really clear apart from maybe the early days of pregnancy i got maybe like a few pimples here and there but other than that my skin looks pretty good i just feel like it's really dry so there is another point for team boy. You're in need of this test. Take a look at your wee. Glamorous, right? If it's bright, you could be carrying a girl. If your urine is dull or clear, it might be a baby boy. My piss is literally, literally fluoro. Fluoro. It's fluoro. So there you go, team girl. You can have a point. Because, yeah, my, my wee is very... Fluoro yellow. If if I'm drinking a lot of water throughout the day, it's usually still got that like fluoro tinge to it. But yeah, it's never been that yellow before falling pregnant, so that's definitely a point to team girl. If folks keep stopping you to comment on how closely your bump resembles a basketball, you're having a boy. If basketball players keep trying to dribble off with your bump, you could be expecting a girl. What? I don't get that question. Well, my bump's not really that round, to be honest. It's, I don't know, my bump's like all down the bottom. Also, I did the urine test with the bicarb soda. So they say to put bicarb soda in a, bicarb soda in a cup and then mix your pee with it. If the bicarb fizzes, then you're having a boy, and if it just stays flat, then you're having a girl. I just did it. You meant to do it with your morning wee because it's more accurate or whatever, but I just did it, and it didn't fizz at all. Maybe, like, the tiniest bit, but I don't think I saw much fizz at all. So that's another point to team girl. Also, my girlfriend did the Chinese calendar for me. It came up saying girl, so I'm going to give another point to girl, team girl. I don't know, Chinese calendar, you put in like your dates or, or something and it comes up. But at the end of the day, guys, there's no real way to tell the sex of your baby unless you go to a ultrasound or if you get someone to do your bloods. I know there's harmony tests that you can have really early on. We didn't have a harmony test. I just waited. I went to a really amazing girl called Anna. She's in Paradise Ultrasounds and she's been doing it for like 30 years. So she knew straight away what the sex was. She wrote it down in an envelope for us and yeah, we found out the sex pretty early. I'm really sorry that it's taken so long. I know so many of you guys have been asking me and I had to change the dates a few times. One reason was a few of my really close friends couldn't make it. Obviously, I really want them to be there. And then also another reason why we had to change the date again was because Lockie wouldn't have the pergola done in time. And it's really important to have everything done so the setup looks amazing. I'm really excited and I can't wait to share with you guys what the hell my baby has. A little vagina or a little pee pee. Like I seriously am so excited because I know you guys are so excited and I really love that so much. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more baby related videos, then 
hit me up. Let me know in the comments box below and I'll be happy to film them. I know you guys really liked my baby name video, so I'm thinking of filming another one of those. And overall, I keep getting asked to film like baby update videos. I don't really know what what you guys want to be updated on, so I'll probably just do like a Q and A. Alrighty, woohoo, woohoo! I'm out. I'm out. Peace out. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs>